And this is the most epic view in Thailand. Viewpoint. It is arguably the most beautiful viewpoint in the Phang A Phuket region. Many people come here to just take a photo and leave, but we found online that you can actually stay here and camp overnight. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We will show you what it's like to camp at the Summit Nashi viewpoint. Before we came here, we made a quick stop at 7 Eleven to grab some snacks. Like, not some, like lots of snacks. Just in case there's no food up there, but. The lady here, the food lady, just told us there's a restaurant up there. And a little coffee shop. It's okay, we'll still eat it all. <laughs> so we're here at the bottom and it's only around a five minute drive to get up, but we cannot take our own car. We have to park it here and take their 4x4s to go up. Before we head up, we just need to grab our tickets from here. So this is a ticket counter and they sell two different types of tickets. The first one is just an entry fee, which is 30 baht, and then you can walk up or you can buy the car trans fee for round trip which is 90 baht per person so it includes the entry fee and the round trip 4x4 pickup we didn't book the tent ahead because the lady said we can just go up and uh, contact the tent operator ourselves and they also have small bungalows there if we don't like the tent we have an option <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh wow, look at that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's amazing. What a view. Wow. Actually hiking up would be would be pretty tiring in this heat. <laughs> worth 90 baht for a ride up. Okay, we're here. Go ahead. <laughs> wow. Okay, we might have to uh, change uh, our plan a little bit. He said it looks like it might rain mm -hmm. and their tents are not waterproof. Oh, okay. I guess maybe uh, we should invest in a good tent. We should bring our own tent. Mm -hmm. Might be time to get one. There's a lot of people here taking photos right now, but it doesn't seem like anyone is staying over though, so that's nice. When the sun goes down, it'll be just us and a couple people. Okay, we're just checking out this bungalow here. This one is 800 baht a night. Okay. Just me, a simple hut. Let me see what's inside. So. There's a mattress and some pillows, blanket. Is there a um, fan? Yeah, there's a fan right there. Good. Uh, also, there is a plug on the side. And is there a light in here? Um, yeah, there's a light in here. We have a dilemma. We're not sure if we want a bungalow or a tent because tent would be more exciting, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, and tent is kind of a bit lower, um, not on this like main platform here, so we get a little bit more privacy and you get the full view. But also it's not waterproof, so we are worried that we're gonna get super wet. What does the forecast say? Now it's sunny and throughout the night, clear sky. Rainfall, not bad. Okay, should we trust it? Okay. Come on, I wear a camping shirt already. <laughs> we have to go camping. Camping? Okay. Let's do it. While we're waiting for the tent, can I show you something? Mm -hmm. It's like a tree house up there. Oh my goodness. Are we gonna climb that? Yeah, let's go up. Are you supposed to climb that? Yeah. Yeah, I think you can go up. Is this sturdy? Very sturdy. If you can't go up, they would put the sign here. Like 
<laughs> it looks so scary from here. It's pretty sturdy. The tree is more sturdy. It's just very tricky. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Nice. Wow. Oh my goodness. I did see the guy downstairs and asked him if we are allowed to climb up here and he said yes it's safe. He is now setting up our tent for us down there. It's pretty cool because we're the only ones sleeping down there. At the moment more people may come. I think we made a good decision to yeah. go with the tent. Why? It looks so nice <laughs> and nobody goes to that section. True. They like just people come don't, up here and take photos and they leave. Yeah, people don't take photos really down there because I think Thais like to take photos with signs or something like really bright and colorful. So on the main platform over here, there's a lot of bright signs that say like Summit Nanshi Viewpoint. I'm actually pretty surprised because it is more developed than I thought it would be. They have a restaurant up here, they have a coffee shop up here, they have toilets in the back which we still have to check out. And the restaurant is open until 8pm and there were tons of food choices there. Not extremely expensive which is nice. You can pretty much see everything from here Beth. There's like a little uh, floating village over there as well. The mangrove forest all these limestone mountains so beautiful and we are facing east so it's going to be perfect for the sunrise tomorrow morning oh so the sunset the other way mm -hmm. ah. but i think we'll still be able to see like a bit of the sunset like the light changing and everything but it's more of a sunrise spot we heard from some locals that they don't stay over here but they would come here at 3 4 in the morning and wait for the sunrise it's not expensive to stay overnight though bungalow was 800 and the tent is how much 450. there is a more expensive option of course if you wanted to come here but have the luxury of like a hotel uh, a lot of people go to some Summit Nanchi boutique hotel which is really close to here and you also get the beautiful view but in a like luxury hotel like a five-star luxury hotel they're frequently booked out though so you would have to book quite early if that's something you want to do on your trip to thailand and it's only fifteen thousand baht a night yeah. start starting from fifteen thousand you can rent out all the tents here. <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is the scary part going down yeah one step Be at careful. a time see you down there okay bye no, just wanted to drop off our bags at the tent, but I thought I'd give you a little tour of what this platform here looks like. So it isn't very big. There are some signs here to take photos. Also a little platform that you can stand out there to take a better photo. And you can go all the way down there to take photos. Wow! Is this our home for the night? This is our home! Wow, this is amazing! Welcome! Look at this view! Wow! We uh, have a neighbor now. There's a lot of space. Why did they set up right there? Yeah, <laughs> true. Oh, so do they do give you like a mat or...? Yeah, they even have like a... Um... Oh yeah! This one here. Uh, what is it like? Oh, it give you like insulation. an insulated mat. Two small pillows, two blankets. And they feel pretty clean. Yeah. yeah. It smells like Febreze in here. Yeah. I think they spray it before they uh, set it up for us. But we did bring our own pillows since we had them with us anyways on our road trip. <laughs> Always like having our own pillows though. Yeah. 
<laughs> and my side pillow. <laughs> I can't sleep without my body pillow. It's actually his second wife. That's what yes. we call it. We're all set. Do you think it'll be cold tonight? I hope so, because it's so hot right now. <laughs> they have a shower? I think they do. Uh, we should go check it out. Yeah. I think it's behind the, uh, the restaurant. But let's just enjoy this view for a little while longer. I agree. Perfect guy. I can't have a bad temper, make a big fuss and cry. And I know that lately it's been hot. We had a bumpy ride. But if you give me one more chance, I make it a for life. So if you want. Oh! Lighting! No. <laughs> it's not lightning. <laughs> oh no. Can you hear the moss? Mm -hmm. From over there, from one of the small villages. So I think most of the small villages in this bay here are Muslim community. Do you notice if they uh, sell alcohol up here? I don't think they do, no. They shouldn't, right? Oh! <gasps> do you see it? Oh, that was so clear. <laughs> That lightning was so clear. It's almost like touch the ground, touch the ocean. Before it gets too dark, let's go grab some dinner and check out the washroom. Yeah. <laughs> Better to know what it's like before it's like really, really dark. That's a good idea. To be honest, I can smell the toilet from here. <laughs> it's a bit stinky, but it's pretty decent. Oh, this is the shower. I might take a shower. Yeah, come come in here. Come take a look. What oh. happened to the light? Is it a sensor? Yeah, so Thai it's just style. a traditional Thai style shower with a bucket. Have you showered like this before? No. Well, I've been cold. I don't think I'm gonna shower though. I showered this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to the bucket shower. But I do need to use the washer. We just sat down at the restaurant. We'll order some quick dinner, some drinks, and we'll head back over to our tent to enjoy the evening. The prices are pretty decent here, especially if you want something like fried rice. You can even get like patsiyu, the stir fried noodles, for a hundred baht. It's not bad, of course. There are some seafood items that are more expensive, but overall it's pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah. They do sell snacks over here. They have lots of chips, some instant noodles. And on this side, they have a coffee station. You can get little cakes and get Milo Ovaltine coffee. And their hot water here, um, they just have like a little water boiler. And she said that this will be on all night. So if we need hot water, we can just come get it over here. You can also come to the restaurant to charge your equipment, like your phones and stuff. So 10 baht per time. And you can see there. All occupied. <laughs> the food is surprisingly really, really good. One of the best basil stir fried with chicken I've had. And also, note, ordered the garlic stir fried with chicken. Both so delicious. We just got a side of veggie because we want to be a little healthy before we eat all the snacks tonight. We have pretty good lighting here. Yeah. Should we show them sure. how we got our lighting? So we can't keep our foot up there for too long. So we might as well say good night now. We'll see you in the morning. We'll wake up pretty early, probably around 5 or 5.30. Because mm -hmm. the sun rises around 6-ish. Yeah. It'll be beautiful. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.
Good morning from Summit Nangshi. It's around 6.30 right now and we are up for the sunrise. It may look like it's just the two of us sitting here, but it's <laughs> not true because there's tons of people up there and over there and drones up there. All here to see the sunrise this morning. Quite a few people showed up overnight at least three more groups that came up and um, asked for tents to be set up. So it ended up not being too quiet of a night, but they weren't too noisy. It was mm -hmm. still nice. Did you sleep last night? I slept a little bit. I have to say, it's a bit hot and sticky. <laughs> oh, it was so hot. It was so hot I couldn't sleep. Oh, the sun is peeking. <gasps> Picking up from that mountain. So beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful sunrises I've it's seen. It's so it? beautiful. It's like a complete red egg yolk over there. And you can still see the moon up there. This is incredible. Is it worth <laughs> not sleeping for this? Camping is not about sleeping. <laughs> Camping is about the next morning when you wake up and you see the morning mist and the sunrise. True. And coffee, which mm -hmm. we should get some coffee. Lots of people already coming like up and down uh, from the viewpoint. So I think the trucks run pretty early. So if you don't stay here overnight, you can still come to the viewpoint at 6.30 or something and come up for the sunrise. There were people coming up earlier than that. I True. wonder if the trucks are running on it. Oh, could be. There were yeah. people coming up at 3 in the morning. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was sleeping then, but I think like <laughs> 5 30 this morning i started hearing like a bunch of people behind us today's breakfast is the gourmet instant noodles <laughs> so the restaurant isn't open so early i think right now it's seven so they don't do breakfast i think they probably just do lunch and dinner so bring your own food mm -hmm. we also have more food though we got some bread and look at this thing we found this at 7-Eleven yesterday before we came up. Mixed berry jam. But in a squeeze bottle. Yeah, it looks like that. So convenient. So you can just do this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Was that the best 35 baht you spent? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we are packing up now and overall we had a fantastic time here camping at Summit Nangchi. If you guys are in the Phuket or Krabi area, make sure to check this place out. It is only an hour from Phuket and an hour and a half from Krabi. We hope you enjoyed this video and as always have a wonderful day. We will see you in the next one. Bloopers! <laughs> I think you're gonna... You should give me the camera. I'll drop it. How did you sleep? <laughs> Terribly. <laughs> <laughs>